Hi, I'm Sandy from the Home Depot Rental Center. When you need to deep clean a hard floor, we offer the Carter Hard Flooring Cleaner. Its easy to use design allows it to be used for a variety of cleaning jobs. This machine has removable wheels that make it simple to transport, but can quickly be taken off and stored when you're using the unit. The brushes can be changed to suit your cleaning job. It can scrub and dry your hard floor in one pass, greatly reducing your cleaning time. Now, before you get started, a few quick reminders. As with the safe operation of any power equipment, we recommend wearing protective gear, such as safety glasses, work gloves, hearing protection, and non-slip shoes. When operating the hard flooring cleaner, be aware of your surroundings. Never place any part of your body near the suction and brush portion of the unit while it's in operation. And be sure to keep all others at least five feet away from the unit during use. This machine must be connected to a grounded 120 volt outlet. Do not use an extension cord or adapter. Never leave the machine unattended while connected to a power source. Note that this unit is not suited for use on frozen surfaces. Before you get started, make sure that the roller brushes are free of obstructions. If you need to remove the transport wheels, press the yellow transport wheel release button. Then pull out the wheels and push them into the holder on the handle. The wheels are not needed for the cleaning process. Push down on the handle release bar and lower the handle. Fill the solution tank to just below the opening with clean water. You can unlatch the tank and remove it to fill, or you can fill it with a hose while it's attached. Use the cap to add detergent solution. The solution cap is designed so that each capful is 1% of the overall solution. With the supplied power cord plugged into a grounded outlet, plug the other end into the machine's power cord and twist. Next, adjust the brush contact pressure by pulling out and turning the contact pressure dial on the base of the machine to the desired setting. Always use the lowest contact pressure possible for your job as this will help reduce wear and tear on the brushes. Now push down on the yellow vacuum pedal and lower the handle to engage the vacuum bar. Turn on the brushes and vacuum by pressing the yellow levers on the handle. Add detergent to the floor by pressing on the black detergent solution lever on the handle. Push or pull the appliance over the surface to clean. Be careful not to use the machine on one spot for an extended period of time. This could damage the floor. If you're using the unit to polish your floor, simply press the yellow levers on the handle and move the unit over the area. To complete cleaning, release the black detergent lever and vacuum up any remaining water. If suction stops or when you're finished, release the yellow levers, lay the handle down, and remove the recovery tank. Dispose of the liquid and rinse the tank. Replace the recovery tank on the unit. If your job is not complete, refill the solution tank and continue cleaning. When you're ready to return the unit, press the yellow pedal to raise the vacuum bar. Place the handle in the vertical position, then unplug the power cord from the grounded outlet. Be sure to empty any remaining solution from the solution tank. Rinse the tank thoroughly with clean water and replace it back on the machine. Wipe off the unit with a rag and reinstall the transport wheels. Then turn the contact dial to transport mode. Fold the handle for storage and secure the unit in your vehicle. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com rental to learn more about the best tools for your next project.